Now, if the length of the radius is equal to 1, then basically the circumference will become 2 pi. Right? Which means that one complete revolution, I mean, we saw that if this is one unit, then it is equal to one radian. Right? So one complete revolution will cover how much? 2 pi r is equal to 2 pi distance. Right? So therefore, the one complete revolution will be equal to 2 pi radian. Okay, well what you also know is that 2 pi radian or one complete revolution is equal to 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian which gives us that 1 degree is equal to 2 pi upon 360 is equal to pi upon 180 radian. So this is an important derivation that we have here. That 1 degree is equal to pi upon 180 radian. Also, let's also look at one other th aspect. So let's see one other derivation formula. We saw that where the length of the arc is r in a circle whose radius is equal to r, Okay, the angle is equal to 1 radian, right? Now, we all know that equal angles or equal arcs form equal angle at the circle, right? So, where the length is equal to r, angle is 1 radian. So let's say where this is 1, it will be 1 by r radian. And wherever, let's say the length is equal to L, it will be 1 by r into L is equal to L by r radian. Okay? So let's say in a circle which has a radius of r, So this gives us a formula that an angle theta, theta could be anything, is equal to the length of the arc upon the radius of the circle, radian. Or theta is equal to L upon R, or you can manipulate it any which ways which you want. So you can put it as theta, r is equal to L. 